Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at two of my most favorite super thin cases that you can get for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, or pretty much any device that they have these available for. As you can see, currently have one on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra right now, so I definitely really love these super thin cases. Now, they do look very similar to each other just looking at them, but if you hold them really close to each other like this, you can see there is a little bit of difference. The design here, the lines are a little bit more thicker compared to the thinner lines that we have right here having that carbon fiber look to both of them looking really really good right here to the right we have the Bitaka air case and over here to the left we have the Bitaka mag easy case now we'll go ahead and start off with the mag easy case since this is the one i currently have on the device itself go ahead and just move that over to the right there now let's go ahead and take a look at the box itself as you can see Bitaka mag easy case for the iphone 12 pro max you got 100% genuine aramid fiber, 17 grams of lightness, 0.85 millimeters of thinness, wireless charging friendly. Going to the back, you can see that this one is made with bulletproof material. So it's supposed to be pretty durable for a super thin case. And I gotta say, with my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I actually dropped this device with this case right here and surprisingly nothing happened at all. Being how super thin this case is, I thought maybe some damage would have been done, but it's actually pretty durable for a super thin case. And like I said, made out of bulletproof materials. Now I wouldn't go shooting this or anything like that because it's not going to stop a bullet. So don't go trying to protect yourself with this case right here, but it is made out of bulletproof materials. The thinnest protective case you can get, metal plates embedded. So as you can see right here, it shows us that there are metal plates in the back of this device right here. Now, even though it has those metal plates, it does still work with wireless charging. So let me bring over my wireless charger right here. And as you can see, it does wireless charge, even though it has those metal plates in the back. And what this is for is so this case can be compatible with their magnetic wireless car charger. So if you have one of their magnetic wireless car chargers, you can either mount it up on the dash or in the vent. And this will automatically just stick to that car charger because of the metal plates right here in the back. So it's pretty cool they were able to make that work. And then it even shows you right here in the back of the box, wireless charging friendly, and then it shows their car charger right there. But yeah, so this is the box. That's what that's going to look like. But let's take a look at the case itself. Like I said, two of my most favorite super thin cases that you can get for your device. I probably prefer this one only because it has those metal plates in the back. Not only does it make it compatible with their wireless car charger, but it also just gives it a little bit more strength here in the back. So. This is what the design is going to look like, looking really, really good. And I really like the way it looks with the blue color of the device as well. Got a little logo down there at the bottom, going to the sides. Get full coverage on the sides except for the button itself, so you have easy access to that button. Going to this side, you have access to your buttons as well and the little toggle there. Other than that, you do get full coverage on the rest of the sides. Going down to the bottom, it is open, so you have access to that charging port. And then you are able to see the speaker and the microphone as well. And then going to the top, that is open as well. And then going to the back once again, it looks like we got a pretty good cutout for the camera module there. As you can see, it pops up just a little bit more than the camera module. So if you happen to put it down flat on its back like this, slide it around, uh, that camera module shouldn't get scratched. It should not touch any flat surface. So you got just a, lit, a good enough little bit of lift there to where you can put it flat down on a table like that. Then going to the front display, you're not really going to have too much lift as you can see there. It does kind of wrap around just a little bit right there. If I can get close right here, you can see it kind of wraps around. Now I am using a tempered glass screen protector, which does raise up a little bit, but if that screen protector was not there, we would have just a little bit of lift coming from this case right here. So overall for a super thin case, I think it's really nice and you're going to get some decent protection. Maybe not from super, super heavy falls, but as far as light falls go or just any scratches, if you put your phone down like this, you slide it around, you're definitely not going to get any scratches on your device. But I definitely, this definitely wouldn't be a case that I would use to go outdoors hiking or a construction job or anything like that. But if you're going out, you know, on more of a nicer occasion or a casual occasion, this would be a really good case to put on this, especially if you don't want to add too much bulk to your device. But overall, looking really, really good. Again, this is the Pitaka Mag EZ case. And like I said, even though it has those metal plates in the back, it does work with wireless charging. And as far as the way it fits on the device, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. It's on there nice and secure. I'm trying to push it off right now. 
you actually have to use some force to take this case off of the phone. So I kind of, what, what I do is pretty much just push my fingers through the hole right here on the cameras and just kind of try to push it off just like that. As you can see, it's on there pretty nice and secure. So you're not gonna have any problems with this case falling off on you. You know what, it's kind of hard to do this behind camera. Let me go ahead and take it off really quick. Woo, all right, there we go. I gotta be honest with you guys, that was not easy to take off. It definitely sits on the device nice and snug. So again, you're not gonna have to worry about this case falling off of your device. If you do happen to drop it, it won't pop off or anything like that. At least I'm assuming because of how tight it fits on the device itself. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Pitaka air case. So this one's gonna slap on nice and easy, just like that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. Again, Pitaka air case made with genuine aramid fiber, silky and soft to the touch, which it is really soft to the touch. Actually, both of them are. 6.5 millimeters of thinness, 10 grams of lightness, luxury selective material. Now going to the back, this one doesn't say that it's made with bulletproof material, so I can't really confirm that it is or isn't. I know this one is for sure, but as far as the air case goes, I can't confirm that. Extra protective ring for your camera lens, thinnest and lightest case, easy access to all buttons, made with genuine aramid fiber. So there you go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the case itself. So looking pretty similar to the last one, like I said, the design, the, the lines are just a little bit skinnier than what we have with the Mag EZ case. Again, you get that logo down at the bottom. Looking at the camera module, you get a nice, just about the same amount of lift that you get with the other case. You're gonna have the same openings on the sides, the same openings on the bottom and the top there. But again, the design in the back is gonna look almost the same. And then going to the front display, you are going to have that same amount of lift as well. The only real difference is with this one and this one right here is that the air case does not have those metal plates in the back like the Mag EZ case, but it still will work with the wireless charging as you can see here, let me turn that on. So this case will work with wireless charging. It just won't work magnetically with that uh, wireless car charger that Pitaka offers for your vehicle. But other than that, it will work with regular wireless charging, like I said. And then of course you have the opening for regular charging as well, but very, very nice. Now I know I said I do prefer this one over this one, but at the same time, I kind of like the thinness of the design here rather than the thicker lines. I don't know, it's kind of hard to decide, even though they look so similar at the same time, they are different as well. But this is the Pitaka air case looking really, really good. Now, I don't know if it's going to be just as hard to take off as the other one was, and no, this one's actually a lot easier to take off than the Mag EZ case. So if I can show you guys again, let me go ahead and slap this one right back on just like that. And again, this is what the Mag EZ case is going to look on the 12 Pro Max. So there you have it. Again, we have the Pitaka Mag EZ case here to the left and the Pitaka Air case here to my right. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Which one of these would you pick up for yourself? Which one do you like better based on just the little change of design on both of them? And you know, with the metal plate being on this one compared to it not being on this one, which one would you pick for yourself? Let me know down in the comment sections below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. But for now, thank you guys so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones. If you do find yourself interested in any of these cases here, I'll make sure to have a link down in the description below. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.